Yo, what's up guys? It's NLW Figs here, back again with another video. And yes, as the title suggests, I did buy myself a replica championship belt. And I thought it'd be a fun little video since I'm trying to do a video every day in the lead up to Christmas to kind of show you guys this championship replica. I've never bought anything like this or splurge like this before. Um, as you know, I'm quite a cheapskate, or I used to be when it came to wrestling figures. So to buy this is kind of out of my comfort zone. But now that I've got it in hand, I've got to say I'm really impressed with it. I'll get it out of the package in a moment and kind of show you what it's about. But before I do, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to NLW Figs for more wrestling figure content. And also comment down below, do you own a championship replica belt or not? Um, for me personally, this is the first one I've ever actually bought. So when I was a kid, um, fun little story before I open it. Um, basically what I did when I was a kid, I used to go through the wrestling figure catalog and you know, all the WWE shop catalog and all that stuff. And I used to see the World Heavyweight Championship, you know, the big gold one, and thought, oh man, $250 at the time. But as a stupid kid, you know, I was like, ah, oh, just, just buy me one. And my parents were obviously a little bit skeptical of that. And then for Christmas, I opened up uh, this, this wrestling figure belt. No, this is not wrestling figure belt, but this wrestling title belt. And I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, this costs so much money. And then my parents, I could just see them, their faces drop because, um, you know, they bought me, obviously, the foam toy, which is about a tenner, 20 quid. Um, and I was acting as if it was the one in the catalogue for like 250. Obviously, stupid child uh, calculate, didn't know the difference. But and anyway, I wasn't that sad when I found out it wasn't, uh, you know, a real thing because I was just happy to have the title belt. I used to defend it against my toys when I was a kid. But yeah, I'll open it now because uh, obviously story time with Cad Clay is not what you came to see, um, even if you do enjoy it. So it comes in this nice little package and you just zip it up, you zip it open like this. So this thing is a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be. Well, not uh, to be fair, it's quite heavy, but it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be maybe because you always see, um, I remember holding the title belt as a kid. I think it was like in a store or something and I'm thinking, oh man, that was heavy. But yeah, here you go. The ECW World Championship you might even be able to see my reflection in it um, if I stand at the right angle, which I won't because I don't want a, another face reveal. Um, but yeah, like the the whole thing is just great. Like, first of all, I'll try and zoom in on it just so you don't see my face. Um, but yeah, you can see the uh, barbed wire just coming along the edge there. Um, that's a nice addition. And then uh, we'll go on to the main plate first. So here you've got the ECW logo there and also the world and then the heavyweight wrestling. I don't know what it was about this championship as a kid that made me think it was one of my favourites. Uh, maybe it's just because I liked ECW and it was kind of, not forbidden, but on the Sky Planner it used to show up as Extreme Championship Wrestling and my parents were a bit iffy about it, so never really got the chance to watch it when I was eight years old. Um, but uh, yeah, like again, just a championship that I was really enamoured with and it was one that I've wanted for a while. That's why I bought the toy one and now I've got the uh, you know, the real thing, which is really cool. And this is a uh, good quality material as well. It's like metal, so it's quite thick there, you can see. And then it just kind of clips together. So again, like the side plates, I'll just show you quick. Um, you've got the hardcore wrestling on the side there, and also the uh, hardcore wrestling on the side there too. And this is a, uh, a belt that I wanted purely because um, it spans across companies. So you've got the, um, the, when it was used in the original ECW towards the end and also um, in WWE's version of ECW until like 2008. So yeah, big fan of this belt. I was debating whether or not to go for um, another one because there was an NXT title on there but it didn't have the same kind of, um, I guess, history to it as this one did. So that's why in the end I went with this championship belt. Now the question is, would I buy another one? Probably not. Um, it was quite expensive, although it wasn't as expensive as most of them. It was actually on the cheaper end of them. And you can also buy like, um, I know you can get them on eBay made by like fans and stuff, but I wanted the like official thing. Like I think on the back it says it's like WWE authenticated or whatever. So yeah, there you go, WWE authenticated and all that stuff. Because if you're spending that amount of money, you really want to get like the legit thing. So that's me. Maybe I'm just a sucker, I don't know. But uh, it's always been a dream of mine to have um, a wrestling belt, like an actual real one. Um, maybe one day I might get someone to make me an NLW championship belt. That would be sick. Uh, that That's actually, you know what, something that is like a wish list of mine. Because if I could get like the NLW title belt and have it all like, on display in my office, oh man, that would be sick. You know, and this is the thing about now <laughs> being an adult, I guess, is that you can buy <laughs> and splurge on this stuff and you know, it's coming out of your own pocket. Um, but yeah, and like the belts here just click together. I can try and get it to click so yeah 
you just click the back of it and then you can wear it. It's, uh, it's actually too big for my uh, skinny little waist, <laughs> but um, it's cool to have over the shoulder. And over the past couple of days, I've just been kind of walking around the house in it because I just, I just like it so much. Yeah, but um, you know, a purchase this big, there's usually some regrets and I've been thinking about it for like a couple of months, um, whether to pull the trigger and buy it or not. But yeah, I just, first of all, love the design of it, love the patterns, like the colors, they pop on the, the metal and it, you know, in person, feels really good. And I like the barbed wire kind of stitching along the, the leather on the back there. So uh, yeah, like that's the video. Um, sorry, I kind of rambled on with a couple of stories there, but that's kind of part of the reason why I bought this championship is because it unlocked a lot of memories for me, um, you know, being a wrestling fan growing up and then, you know, watching ECW and stuff like that. So I'm um, very glad to have this in my kind of personal collection. But uh, what do you think of this championship belt? Let me know in the comments below. And also comment down below, have you ever bought a replica belt or have you ever been given one or uh, is it a dream of yours to have one one day? Um, you know, let me know in the comments below. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to NLW Figs for more wrestling figure content. That's it from me, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.